Hi guys, Squirrel here. I'm often asked when playing American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator how it is that I'm able to just freely fly around the map and look at it from any perspective and also how I'm able to teleport the truck and trailer from one place to another on the map quite simply. In this video I'm going to show you how I do that plus a number of other useful tricks available in the developer console. The ability to fly around the map and teleport your truck from one place to another is not something that you can do in the default game. What you have to do is you have to make a very small configuration change in order to put the game into developer mode and enable the console. So first of all, let's go ahead and make that change. In order to make the configuration change, first of all, exit the game. Then what you need to do is come to the relevant folder. Now for Euro Truck Simulator 2, that's going to be in your documents folder. So it'll be Documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2. For ATS, it's going to be Documents and then American Truck Simulator. Either way, they'll both have a file inside called config.cfg. Simply drag this file to a notepad. Now inside notepad, you need to look for two different things. First of all, press Control F to find console. That will bring you down to a command here called G underscore console. In order to enable the console, you need to set this value to 1. The next thing you need to do is search for something called developer. There's a value in here called g underscore developer. This you also need to set to 1. Having done this, save the file, close it, and start the game. Now that you've made the configuration changes, you should be able to access the developer console. To do this, you need to press the key that's shown on screen. Normally this is next to the 1 key and it's called the tilde or backtick key. If you press this, you should get the developer console. If you don't get the console, make sure you, you're definitely pressing that tilde key. If you definitely are, exit the game, go back into the config and make sure those settings have definitely been saved. Now having got the console, you're probably wondering what it's for. Put simply, using this console, you can change things in the game. I'll take you through some of the most useful commands, but if you want to find out what the commands are, the console has a tab completion, so if you press the tab key, it will show you all of the commands. If you press, if you start typing something like G underscore and then press the tab key, it will show you all the commands beginning G underscore. Now there is a whole load of commands, not all of them are terribly useful. I will show you my favourite ones, but if you want to go through and discover them, feel free to do so. Just bear in mind, it will change something in the game and you may not know what it does. So if you go on the internet, you can often find what the command does. Some of them are not terribly useful, but some of them are really useful. Before we cover the console commands, let's cover that most basic one, flying around, teleportation, how do we do it? Well, if you jump back in your truck for one second, we'll show you how to do this. On your keyboard, press the zero key, the zero key next to the Nike, the main, not the one on the numeric keypad, the main zero key. Press that, and that should throw you into this weird external camera. Now you may be wondering what the heck kind of view this is, but it always starts in this position just underneath your truck. Now you need the numeric keypad. With the numeric keypad, you need to press keys 4, 5, 6 and 8. Now 4, 5 and 6 are the main ones. 4 will go left, 6 will go right, 8 will go forward and 5 will go backwards. Now using the mouse, you can alter the camera angle. So what you can do is look the direction you want to go and then press the 8 key and then if you turn around you can see your truck simply press 4 and 6 to move around now and by using the mouse you can also do funky things like spin around your truck now this is actually quite useful because it means you can actually look at your truck from any angle now you may be thinking to yourself hang on a minute we've got this the the photo camera for that this thing existed long before the photo camera. In fact, this was the only way to get decent thumbnails for videos until that camera came along. But this camera is actually a lot more flexible than the one that you get in the photo studio. For a kickoff, there's no limit to where you can take this camera. The controls aren't quite as simple though. For example, if you press 9, it will go up, and if you press 3, it will go down. And with this camera, you can actually go below the ground level and see what's going on underneath the map. 
If you're not careful, you can get yourself in a bit of a strange position and wonder where the heck you are. If in doubt, just press the number one key and you'll get back in your truck. So if you press the zero key for a second, I'll show you something else. The camera speed. Now the camera speed can be adjusted with the mouse wheel. If you spin the mouse wheel back, the camera will go very slowly. So here we are moving forward and I'm going to start moving the mouse wheel forward slowly and you can see the acceleration picks up. Now using this technique, you can fly across the map very, very quickly and then slow it down when you need to. And this is useful for the next thing I'm going to show you, which is teleporting. There are two main ways of teleporting in Eurotruck and ATS. The first method uses the camera to move yourself around and then spawn the truck exactly where the camera is. The second method uses the console to teleport yourself from one city to another by city name. Now using a combination of the two, you can basically make your truck go anywhere you want in the map. So first of all, let's cover the basics of the camera trick. So having pressed zero to go into this external camera, using four, five, six, and eight, you can move your camera around as I've already showed you. And then you simply press the F9 key to spawn the truck. Now you do need to be careful with this technique. If you're a little bit too high when you spawn the truck, the truck will spawn and then it will drop to the ground, which will cause the truck damage. So always make sure that your camera is very low down when you spawn the truck, but pay a special attention not to be below ground level. If you're below ground level and you spawn the truck, the truck will simply disappear into space and bad things will happen. So always make sure the camera is just above ground level and then press the F9 key and you should be good. Now using this technique, I can very quickly fly over and pick up any job I like or go to the service depot like that, spawn the truck in, press enter and get my truck very quickly repaired. Now, let's show you the other technique using the console to teleport from city to city. Now I'm currently sat in Cambridge and if I come out and look in the job market, unfortunately in Cambridge I can't see anything particularly exciting. Everything is just real boxy trailers. I don't really fancy a boxy trailer, but I've spotted something in London that looks a lot more exciting. It's an excavator, 26 tons going up to Sheffield. So I'll set my destination to that instead. Now normally I'd have to drive from Cambridge down to London. But we've got another way of doing this now. Press the tilde key and drop down the console. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use the go to command. Now go to takes a city name as a parameter to so type go to space and then the city you want. In this case, we can type London. However, bear in mind, if you can't spell the name of the city, you can abbreviate this. So for example, if this was Bordeaux and we didn't know how to spell Bordeaux, we could just put B-O-R-D and it will look for the first city that starts B-O-R-D, which is probably going to be Bordeaux. So for example, we can just go L-O-N-D, that's bound to be London, press enter, and it'll teleport us straight to London. Press the tilde key to get rid of that console. If we have a very quick look around with the mouse, we can see, well, this certainly looks like the London city skyline. So this is probably London. But if we press the F5 key, we can be absolutely sure. Just keep pressing F5 to cycle through the views and you can see it's London. Now using this map, we can actually work out how to fly where we want to go as well. Remember, we're trying to get to the pickup point. So if we look around, we can see that the pickup point is actually below us. So we just simply fly down and use the mouse wheel to speed up and to slow down. Bring yourself down to just above the job pickup point, about there, press the F9 key, and that will spawn you straight on top of the pickup point, and you can see it says press enter to view the job offer. Now we simply press the enter key, and we'll take the job as normal. And then we're left with two choices. We can either drive over and pick up the trailer ourselves, or if we're feeling super lazy, just move the camera so that you've got plenty of space behind you and then press the F9 key. Now the F9 key will normally spawn the truck, but if you've got a job active, it'll also spawn the trailer attached to it as well. And there you go. Just be careful that there's nothing behind you because if there is, when you spawn in the trailer, for example, if you did it here, the trailer would end up on top of that hill and that's not what you want. Now then, the other thing is, what do we do from here? Well, you can just simply drive down to your destination now and enjoy wonderful delivery in your truck. The other thing you can do 
is you can teleport to the destination. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you're a bit low on cash. You're starting out in your profile, you're a little bit low on cash, teleport yourself to destination, complete the job, get paid, jobs are good. When you do that, you'll hardly get any XP because you won't have driven the mileage, but you will be paid for the job, so it will boost your money. Now that is full on out and out cheating, but this is a simple single player game. And in a single player game, play it however you like. The tools are here, it's up to you how you use them. Use them for convenience, use them to cheat, it's up to you. Well let's go ahead and teleport to the destination, which is Sheffield. Press the tilde key, go to space, chef, press enter, and we should find ourselves in Sheffield. Now if we look around, I can't actually see where the drop off point is. So the drop off point must be outside of Sheffield. We press the F5 key and there it is. It's outside of Sheffield, just southwest. We can simply fly over there, spin the mouse wheel to speed up the camera, let the scenery load in. It sometimes takes a little while depending on how quick your system is. And here we are at the delivery drop off. Let's press the F5 key so that we can zoom in a little bit more. And it must be down here. Now normally I'd have a flashing green circle, well you would have a flashing green circle, but I'm using a mod which removes the flashing green circle. So instead what I need to do is just drop myself off. Now don't bear in mind, you could drop yourself off up there, you can drop yourself off down here, it's up to you. Uh, you can just go ahead, drop yourself off like that. So you're lined up with the drop off points, press the T key, and deliver the job. Now as I say, that is actually cheating, but it's up to you what you do with this. I'm just showing you how to do it. You can see that we got paid for all of that, but we only got 1 XP for actually a base reward, and we got 40 XP because we parked the trailer. Hit continue, collect your dosh, and you're done. That is how you teleport around the map. You can use it to go to any city in the map, and then simply use the camera to fly in where you want to be. Now teleporting is actually useful for a number of reasons, not just for cheating like that, but for, like I say, just convenience and also to get yourself out of trouble. There are times when you've got yourself in a bit of a mix or your truck and trailer has got beached on something. You just need to get out of a mess. You're in, you're in a junction and there's AI all around you. You can't get out. Just simply press zero, get the camera out, move to a safe position and press F9. And that is why the free camera is one of the most useful things in Eurotruck and ATS. Right, let's have a look at some of the other more useful commands in the console. Press the tilde key and bring down the console. G underscore set. And if you press the tab key, it will show you a few things. G underscore set time, weather and skybox are some of the more useful things. Let's start with the weather. If we go for weather, we get an odd number or an even number will give you different kinds of weather. So a zero, for example, or a one, will give you completely different things. Now you can use any number you like, but it'll either go odd or even. So 15 is odd, which is wetness, and 16 is even, which is dry. That's how you can very quickly turn off the rain if you don't like the rain. Now on top of the rain, you've also got the skybox. So set skybox like that, press the tab key to complete, and you can go through different skyboxes. Zero will give you this kind of effect. One will give you a overcast look, typical of Sheffield. Two will give you a cloudy sunny look. And three will give you more or less clear skies. There don't appear to be any other skyboxes currently beyond that. That's all we've got at the moment. But that's the skybox command and the weather command. Next one we want to look at is setting the time. Now this is very useful. G underscore set underscore time. Press enter and it'll tell you how to use it. Okay, so hours and then optionally minutes. Let's have a look at the current time. Current time in the game is 12.08. So what we'll do is we'll set it to 13, which is 1 p.m. And that will move the time forward. 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. Now, if we go to something on the next day, for example, 8 a.m., it will move forward from Thursday to Friday. Time will always move forward. It will never go backwards. Now this can be useful, for example, let's say it's nighttime and you don't want to sleep. You just want to move time forward. Or, for example, it's a Sunday and the, um, serve, the, the truck station is not open. You want to make it Monday. You can skip time that way. 
Be careful not to use that command when you've got a job active, because if you do, time will immediately shoot forward and before you know it you'll be late for your job and you'll get paid nothing. So use that one with caution. Next up I'll show you uh, another interesting command. G underscore minicon. Now the minicon will show you a mini console, if I do it right, minicon space 1 will turn it on, and top left it will now show you the mini version of the console. This is more of a developer tool, but you can kind of get a sense if you're getting any kind of errors. Yellow's a warning. Now the license plate slots were depicted, depleted is just a, a warning when the AI, there's too many AI vehicles and it can't get enough license plate. Job drive, job generation failed sometimes means uh, the, it couldn't find a job for the uh, AI. They're nothing to worry about, the yellow. The red ones are the ones that you generally need to worry about. On top of the minicon, once you've got the minicon turned on, you can do G underscore FPS space one. That will then put an additional bar at the top of your screen which has loads of interesting information. But the most notable one is top left there, the FPS. You can drive around and see what your FPS might be. Use it or not, it's up to you. If you want to turn it all off, just turn the minicon off like that and it will all go away. Now I just used a trick there that I forgot to tell you about. When you press the uh, up arrow, it will cycle back through your commands and if you press the down arrow, it will cycle forward through the commands. You can use this to go up and down your most recently used commands, which is actually very useful. Now we're going to go on and look at some of the slightly more weirder aspects. You may or may not use these, but let me uh, quickly fly over to this junction here, and you can see there's quite a bit of traffic. For whatever reason, you might want to go G underscore traffic. And if you look at the options, they're either one or zero. Zero simply removes all the traffic in the game. So now, if you want to, you can drive around with absolutely no traffic whatsoever. Kind of like a Eurotruck multiplayer experience, Kappa. But what I use it for is, I use it for thumbnails. I can spawn my truck into the middle of a junction like this, get a nice thumbnail, and not have to worry about traffic coming up behind me and tooting at all. When you want to put it back on, just set the value to 1, wait, and the traffic will slowly start to spawn back in. Now on top of the traffic starting to spawn back in, there's a very interesting uh, command which you probably won't use, but it's worth showing you anyway. It's called the warp command. So, normally, warp has a speed of 1, which is normal game speed. But we can actually speed up or slow the game down. So if we go for warp 20, for example, we suddenly find that the game accelerates forward at a crazy pace. Equally, we can go warp space 0.3, and then we find that the AI vehicles will actually drive super slowly. Again, it's more of a useful thing when you're doing video production, but I thought I'd show you anyway because it's actually quite amusing. Cool, huh? And this actually accelerates time as well, so the time of day will actually skip forward as well. Put it back on 1 when you're finished. There's a whole array of commands available in the console. G underscore tab will show you just a taster of some of them. There are far too many for me to cover in this video, so what I've done is just given you the most useful things to get you around the map and to get you using some of the basic commands. From there, you're free to go forward and have a play. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Until the next one, take care. Happy trucking.